Al-Quran is not a religious book. Al-Quran is not a religious book but a concise guide in Arabic language on how to manage our own thought process and ego for living a peaceful life. Unfortunately, we associate this book with community who call themselves Muslims or to be more precise with Arab culture. But the fact is, originally, Islam was an extended version of Jewish Christian philosophy. Muslims or non-Muslims can understand the message of the book Quran only if they study this book like how any truth seeker study any other topic. The student must examine this book independently without prejudice as a specialized subject and not as a book of any particular religion. The reader should read this book simply as a human being who is not affiliated to any ideology and without having any preconceived notion. Kafir, Mushrik, Munafik, Muslim, Momin are not derogatory or holy words, but these words describe the state of mind of each individual irrespective of their religious background. The essence of Quranic word Qatl is not related with physical killing. The word Qatl signifies fighting and killing our own Kafir Mushrik Thors by feeding them thoroughly with education. Everything is allowed, nothing is forbidden. No matter what rituals we performed or follow, if they are harmless to us and the society, any action done with full awareness and capacity to own the responsibility is permissible. Activities that kick our mind to remain happy and peaceful permanently is Islam. Islam is not about pleasing God and His army or angels, but pleasing and taking care of our own self, providing it doesn't harm the self or other. Jannah which is heaven and Jahannam which is hell are the states of our own mind. Entering in them is solely our responsibility and choice. Jannah which is heaven is hidden garden of enlightenment in us and Jahannam which is hell is a dark hole of ignorance in us. We are our own accountant and nobody else is going to take our accounts. Akhira which is not hereafter or after death but it is a procrastination process which we all go through before meeting or finding our own true self. Peace to us. Peace to all in Islam. Salam is one of the greatest attributes of a Muslim.